Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to create exploding projectiles in Unreal Engine 4. First things first, I'm going to show you a little example of what I mean. So right here I have the default first person game mode and I just made a little um, configurations to the projectile class. So I'm just going to show you what I mean. As you can see when you hit a mesh that has collision bounds on, the projectile explodes and disappears and has a nice little sound effect. Alright, let's get started and I'll show you how to uh, make this. So once you start up the game, we're going to end up creating a new project. So it's going to start you off with the default page projects or it might even start you off with the new projects page depending if you have uh, created a game uh, before or not. So what we're going to do is go to the new projects page, we're going to go to blueprints and we're going to go to first person. We're going to select that and we're going to hit create project. Once your game engine is loaded up, I'm just going to hit play to show you what it looks like before we make any modifications to the game itself. Alright, now that we're loaded in game, you can see that when we hit the left mouse button, we fire projectiles and there is a collision and the projectile does disappear. But note that there's no particle effect or sound being emitted from the location of the projectile. Alright, so now I'm just going to hit escape to end the game and then we're going to begin um, the tutorial. Alright, first thing we're going to end up doing is going to the projectile. Um, I've been messing around with this for a bit so I know the exact location. It's under the first person uh, BP file. We're going to open that. Then once that's open, we're going to go down to blueprints, we're going to open that, and then see over here we have first person projectile um, blueprint class. We're just going to um, right click and hit edit, or you can just double click, either one works. Alright, so now that's going to load up. Now once this is loaded in, we're just going to make a couple more modifications to it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a sound, so I'm just going to type in sound and we have play sound at location. We're going to grab this one right here and we're just going to drag that in. All right. And we're also going to need a effect. So now I'm just going to go right click and then I'm going to go under um is it emitters effects here it is. Effects components particle systems and spawn emitter at location and we're just going to drag that in. Alright, so now we got these two things. Alright, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select a um, emitter. So we're just going to click this right here. And we have a whole bunch of different ones here by default. Uh, you might have different ones depending if you bought in the marketplace or anything like that. But we're just going to use explosion for right now. Alright, so that's set. And then for sound, we're going to use uh, explosion 2. And now we have our sound and our emitter set. Simple as that. Next step is to set the location of the explosion and uh, the sound. Because we don't want the sound playing right where we're at or some other random place. Luckily for us, we already have the location of the object. You can see here, um, oh, where is it? Location. Okay, so we have location here. The location's branching off of the get actor location. So we're just going to drag this here, grab another one of these. I'm just simply left clicking and dragging them onto the location little ports they got here. Alright, so now we have the location of where the sound will play, which is over here, and then where the um, emitter will pop up at. Next step is just to link these together. So what we have right here is it will make an impulse at the location. We want to break this and we're just going to drag this over here because we don't want to destroy the, the object quite yet we want to do a couple first like make our um, emitter and then our sound so then we're just going to drag the end of the sound over here so as you can see actually I should probably make this a little bit easier to see for you so it's not all zigzagged over the place drag this over here because that's the last thing we're going to do this is the third oh yeah second to last alright so then that's what it should look like. And again, we just dragged the location off of the get actor location, which is um, 
the little ball. Alright, so now that's that set up and done, we can compile it, we can save it, and then we can hit play. And now when we shoot an object, you can see that there's a sound that plays and uh, we have a uh, emitted explosion. simple as that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe.